We're launching a tree survey because we want to get a more accurate picture of Britain's urban trees. We're interested in all urban trees, but particularly those that are found in private gardens, since you're the only people who have access to those areas. And we're really keen to see what sort of results you can give us. Today I've come to a park in central London with a small group of volunteers to give them some tips on how to identify trees. Uh, there's hundreds of species of tree you can find in parks and gardens in the UK, but we're going to concentrate on some of the commonest ones. We're going to use this identification key, this one developed by the museum. Keys work by eliminating possibilities step by step until eventually you reach the name of the tree that you've got in front of you. Choose a tree and have a go at it with the key. If you get stuck, give me a call. We're hoping to find out all sorts of things as a result of the survey. For instance, which species make up the urban forest, changes in the distribution of these species, whether they flourish here or not, and things related to climate change. We're also hoping to develop a whole new generation of people who will appreciate trees as the wonderful organisms that they are. How are you getting on? Well, so we're just having a look at the leaves. They're quite long and narrow. Um, Looks they like look to be opposite each other. Broadly, yes, here we are. Picture. The leaves are opposite each other. Two of the features that you need to interpret accurately are the arrangement of the leaves on the twigs and the division of the leaves. This leaf is completely undivided. It's called a simple leaf. The blade is a single surface. This leaf has been completely divided into separate leaflets. So the thing I wouldn't have realised is that you consider the whole of this to be one leaf. I would have thought of just that as a leaf. Yeah, the way you can usually tell is that a whole leaf will often have a bud or a flower growing in the angle between the leaf stalk and the main stem. So there you can see the black mm. bud in the angle. Yeah. If you look at the leaflets, although they're all separate, they're all part of a single leaf. For the arrangement, leaves can be alternate like this, where they alternate on different sides of the shoot. Or they can be in opposite pairs, one leaf opposite another. You can just see there two pairs of leaves. These are the fruits here, these okay. things. Okay. Are the fruits fleshy or juicy or are they dry? They're dry. Yeah, yeah, they feel dry to me. Yes, they are. I say we've got a beach here. We have got a beach. Now, are the leaves lobed? Yes, yes they, they are. are. And... The fruit is definitely an acorn. Yes. So that is an oak. So you have an oak tree. Yes. If you want to take part in the survey, go to the Natural History Museum's website, where you'll find full instructions. The key provided is an interactive one. There's also a printable version. The survey will last for three years. What we would really like is for as many people to take part as possible. The more information we have, the more accurate a picture we can gain of Britain's urban forest.